serve humanity. All animals, all insects, all seasons, all climates, it all works in a synergy to bring about the greater conditions for human beings. Allah speaks about the Day of Promises. The Day of Promises is when it would all with Allah Almighty and we promise to always be an obedient servant to Allah. We have to understand that that relationship with Allah Almighty has always been and always will be. But, and we promised, we made a promise. Oh Allah, I'm always going to be obedient to you. And for some reason, Allah has allowed us to come to this place, this planet. And the test of being on this planet is that we see similitudes of paradise, where we're coming from, but then there are other things that we didn't see and we didn't know. And this is why you find a child, when a child comes to this life, a child comes to this life, they don't come here knowing any evil. They, to them, there is no distinction between good and evil because they've never known Ill, uh, evil and they've only known good. This is why you see children there, they love everyone. They smile at everyone. You see little kids, two and three years old, they, they wave at anybody, everybody. They speak to everybody. They love everybody. Because they have not yet learn the test the grounds and where they are have been transported. This is a whole another plane of reality. Whereas you have to now use your will, your willpower to resist those things that are not of you. Before coming to this life, there was no willpower we exercise. There was nothing keeping us from being in submission to Allah Almighty. There was nothing keeping us from loving Allah Almighty. There was nothing keeping us from being obedient to Allah Almighty. This is really something else here. And you have to see it for what it really is. Because when you see it for really what it is, there is an exercise of your will that you must be disciplined. 
that you must keep your focus, that you must strive with might and main to make sure that you're not falling into the hands of tricks and traps of Satan, of Satan, that one who is the avowed enemy to humanity. You have to use focus will now. You have to use a strength that we've never had to use. And just like as a baby, when those babies are born, they can't even sit up. Their muscles have to be strong enough so they can sit up. Then their muscles have to be strong enough for them to crawl. Then their muscles have to be strong enough for them to walk. Their muscles have to be strong but enough for them to be coordinated to hold a spoon or to hold a bottle to feed themselves. This is a step by step progression. Even though the soul knows this is a whole another realm of reality that the soul has to learn and to be able to work with this physical being that is of creation, something created. A creation. The soul is not used to creation. It's only, crea it's only used to creator. So now the soul is at a kind of a semi-mercy of something created. And it has to wait until that creation gets guided and has a maturity to obey that that Allah Almighty has put into the soul to be able to guide the mind and body of that being that it is encapsulated in. Wow. Wow. This is something <laughs> unbelievable. And the things that we do to ourselves, the things that we do to each other, Allah Almighty has given us, Allah says, I've given some of my servants abundance. But I equally give that that my servants I need to to other servants. Allah is saying he makes a distinction. And when we think about our lives, you, 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 and people say, well, no, I don't, I don't believe in religion. I, I, I don't believe in the, the, the Bible, I, the, the, the Torah. I don't believe in the New Testament. I don't believe in the Quran. I don't think that that is even relevant to us in terms of our everyday current events, going to school and then getting my job and then raising my family and traveling and doing... It's like that now? We really don't have a clue, do we? We really don't have a clue. And so the enemy of humanity, realizing that we don't have a clue, is taking full advantage of our, it's not ignorance, our innocence. Our innocence. Because we came here not having a frame of reference of this. But Allah Almighty said, promised us that he would never leave us without guidance. So Allah Almighty, through the, the living and the trials and tribulations that we go through, and the problems and the difficulties that we go through, Allah already always raised from among us that come through the same birth canal through a woman and have to struggle to sit up, to walk, to talk, to think, to do for ourselves. But Allah Almighty through inspiration sends to them to seek more, to do more, to think more. Why is this happening? Who am I? Why was I created? These kinds of questions. And they diligently seek those answers.
because they notice there has to be something. There is so much order in the universe, but yet so much chaos here. And we know that people leave this life. Where do they go when they die? When they die? Someone is walking around here, and then the next thing, their, their body can't walk. Their body can't talk. They're in a worse position than when they was born. They can't even sit up. They can't even walk. They can't talk. They can't think. They can't do anything for themselves. They can't even bury themselves. These are valid questions that a sound mind should begin to ask. And even if they don't know if there is something greater than themselves, they know, but it's been veiled. We've been veiled from it. That's part of the test. But there's always going to be a, a spark of question, of doubt in us about, is this the reality? Is this, is this real? People are born here. Why do people are born? Why? If there was something greater, a creative how are people born and then they die? Why do they why they are born to die? All these kinds of questions. You have to ask this on a daily basis. You have to think. And even though you don't know that there's going to be an answer, it shouldn't stop you from at least thinking about it. But the amazing thing about it, at some point in time, when we're ready for the answers, Allah Almighty sends them. Some way, shape, or form, Allah Almighty begins to send signs. Like he told Musa, they said, Oh, Musa, take your shoes off. Musa wanted to see him. He says he had gone to the he got to the situation where, okay, that, wow, I know that you are speaking to me, but where are you? I want to see you. I hear your voice. Where are you? I want to see you. Musa, you can't see me because you are in your humanity and with your ego, and I am not of humanity, and I'm not of your ego. And in that state, you have to take off your shoes, your humanity, and your ego to see me. Otherwise, feast your eyes on this mountain. And as I looked at this mountain, and it exploded, that's how you would explode to see me. You can't see me in that state that you're in. Wow. Wow. That has to be the most amazing thing in all of existence, becoming acquainted with one's creator. Now all the stages of asking why and who and where, now you're getting the communication and yet you can't see what's communicating to you. Like I said, study was in yourself and study was on the horizons. To realize that in reality there is no you, there's only me. Allah Almighty. And when you know that, you'll be able to see me. And that's why the Prophet Muhammad so when he made his Isra Miraj, when Allah asked him, he came two bold limbs from Allah Almighty. Allah says in Quran, he was two bold limbs from me. Allah asked him, Who am I? who are you? He said, You. He didn't say, I'm a Habib Allah, I'm the one that's writing you, writing beside your name. La ilaha illa Muhammad Prophet of Allah Almighty. Mercy for mankind. He said, you. There is no me. There is only you. Those who realize that there is only Allah Almighty as they were in their physical being. Allah says there is no death for those people. They're in communication with Allah 24-7. They're the ones that Allah Almighty sends among humanity to bring humanity from humanity through their egos to divine presence while they're in their physical being. Now they have the ability to represent Allah Almighty. They have only to say be, and it is. It is Allah through them. Like Esau ibn Maryam, Jesus Christ said, O oh Allah, I brought them from the dead by your leave. O oh Allah, I brought the table spread by your leave. I did everything. I healed them by your leave. 
I never attributed anything to my humanity, my creation. It was all attributed to the Creator. That's the reality. And we have the ability to reach to that reality. But Allah is really testing us, and as humanity goes on and the technology builds up, and we have all these isms and we have all these schisms and we have all of these manufactured way of lives. And technology, through the technology in the high buildings, thinking that civilization is increasing, when all humanity, humanity is doing is getting dumber and dumber. And losing their souls. They're gaining material wealth and losing their souls. Their awareness of who they are and who's they are. They become lazy. They become crazy. They own drugs. They own alcohol. They, they, they kill. They steal. They lie. They do all kinds of abominations. And they have no remorse. They, they, they don't have no remorse for it. They, they don't even care. They don't even think about it. They've lost their souls. And we see it on current events. See it in the streets. But Allah Almighty always sends an antidote. And the antidote that Allah Almighty sends, Allah Almighty would never send an antidote among people that didn't have the backing of Allah Almighty. When Allah Almighty sends his servants, that he has given them an abundance of whatever they need to do, what they need to do, to do what they need to do. They are going to get the job done. On earth as it is in heaven. Kabir! 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 That's what a real servant of Allah is. A real servant of Allah is that that person, those individuals are servants of the people. They have to serve the people to bring the people up. They don't look for people to serve them. They serve the people. The people can't serve them. They have everything. They have a lot, a lot sufficient for them. But those servants, the people are, those servants are sufficient for the people. And that's what's going on. And every time the people get so far to the left or so far for the right, Allah Almighty has raised his servants from among his servants. And he established them in strength and power. And they begin to have the power to think and ink what they say. Allah well, gives them the ability to say being it is. We're asking Allah Almighty if we're not like them to be with them. Here and here after woman law to fit Allah did not send human beings here to do anything less than His will. But the human being has to show determined efforts, cannot be lazy, cannot be distracted, cannot be not focused, has to be determined and has to be consistent and to realize that there is a way, where there's a will, there's a way. So nothing is impossible for them. They just find another way because they're using their will to will the opportunity that they have been given that they're able to reach. And that's what distinguishes them from those who have allowed shaitan to make us believe that we don't have that power. And so oxygen is a sign. There's no place that we go that there's no oxygen. 
Option is a creation. You think the creation can be more than the creator? So there's no place that we go that the law is not there. So we can always access that power. Our bodies are to the oxygen as our souls should be to Allah Almighty. You take the oxygen away from the body and it will only think of the oxygen to get its breath to be able to survive. Our souls should be that way with the communication to Allah Almighty. We should know when we're not communicating with Allah. Just like we know when our body is not getting the oxygen that it needs. But we're not in tune with ourselves. Guidance is taken lightly, our lives are taken lightly, and we have been hung up on fame, fortune, titles, money, and so we think we're going to live forever until we visit the graves. So Allah says we don't become serious until we visit the graves to realize that, wow, one day that's going to be me. One day that's going to be me. What are we bringing? What are we bringing to our Lord when we return? The Lord is going to ask us, what did you do with your time? And we're only going to feel, and then we're going to be asked, well, how long were you there? <laughs> and we're going to say, a day. A day. Because we're going to be in a whole other realm of reality, and this realm of reality will seem like it doesn't even exist. It was nothing. It was a flick. It was a flicker. Yeah, this is illusionary. These are shadows of deception. This is not even real. So you don't get hung up in it. We ask the Almighty to be able to see, to be able to distinguish reality from falsehood, truth from falsehood. And to be able to live the truth of our reality. Because as you re live the truth of your reality, being true to yourself, the success is the, the gift in being who you're supposed to be. You're on the right way when you're yourself. You can be nothing else. As long as you're yourself, you're yourself. Your sustenance is only given. Everybody comes in this life with their sustenance. But if you are somewhere else when your sustenance is being given, somebody is taking it, and that is the one who is the vowed enemy of us. Because he got us thinking that we're someone other than who Allah Almighty created us, giving us titles, giving us Shantles of deception, deceiving us. We didn't come here to be deceived. We came here to receive our inheritance of the next life and inheritance of this life while we're in this life. And that's the reality. That's the only reality. To meet the law almighty from a place, law has sent us from a place to meet us in, in a place. There's no place where Allah Almighty is now. Woman Law Tafiq al Fatiha, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rahimin, Rahman Rahim, Malik Yamidin, Iyak and Abu Dhabi, Iyak and Estain, Idina Sirat al Mustaqim, Sirat al Ladina and Amta Alehim, Rayu al Mogdubi Alehim, Waladalin, Amin. Got coming to Salah.